Hello, my name's Belinda Opie and I live in Haysborough and this is one of my uh, quite messy um, work areas and I'm moment working on about three projects to try and get ready for Open Studios when it does eventually happen. Um, I'm very lucky to have this space. I've got a, a work bench here um, with lots of little tools and a magnifying glass um, and fortunately somebody gave me a lovely small pillar drill which I can use and I've got sort of a wonderful selection of tools which I've had for years um, lots to see there and then shelves that used to be in my doll's house shop when I had it um, and I've got lots more bits and bobs up there and at the moment the projects that I'm working on um, are one is this automata elephant which I've been working at for weeks and weeks because I'm not quite sure how to finish it but it's made of scrap metal and a bit of copper that I found and if you twiddle his tail his nose goes round at the moment and I've put a magnet in the end of the nose so if you put something metal near it he's going to be able to pick it up whoops there you go um, but I'm not quite sure how to finish it off it's a bit silly really but uh, there you go but I think he's got a lovely face. Oh gosh, isn't he clever? Let's just twiddle that round so you can see a bit more. I think the, I haven't put his eyes in yet. Um, and his nose has been made out of one of those, um, like an expanding metal garter that people used to use to keep their shirt sleeves up. Anyway, so that's one project. Um, then I've been making things out of mustard, old Coleman's mustard tins, um, little automata, little boats in. That's a mixture of ceramics, um, little painted semi-precious stones um, and woodwork. So I've been making those. And this is going to be a bigger mustard tin. Um, well, it is a bigger mustard tin and I'm working on making this into a bird. Um, that's going to go up and down and round and round. Um, there's the mechanism. Where's the mechanism here? You wind this handle and the bird's going to go up and down. But I've still got some soldering to do on that. And I'm going to make the bird's head. can't remember what I was going to use now. Oh yes, I've got this little shark's tooth. Can you see that? I was going to do that. And then I've got some eyes somewhere. Whoops, oh dear, can't find them at the moment. But anyway, I'll show you how I'm getting on towards the end of the day. Okay. Oh, yes, one more thing. What have I got here? Oh, yes, I've got this fish. Ceramic fish. Um, nice piece of driftwood. Lo lovely colours. And I've made the tail out of an old pickle fork, I think it is. But that's going to need fixing on. I've got to decide what length a piece of wood is. Whether that's the right colour background. Um, but it's lovely colours. That's done um, Raku fired. But it's not, no, not complete yet. But that's sort of, I never work on something from start to finish. Things sort of tend to hang around and I might leave them for weeks and weeks or even months. And um, then start working on them again. Oh yes, there's, a, there's another automata. That's in for repair at the moment. The grandchildren got hold of the fish and gave it a good old yank. So I've got to sort that one out. Okay, over and out. Folks, um, here we are, another couple of weeks into lockdown. Um, the success is um, the fish. Um, that's all mounted. All I've got to do now is to put a nice catch on the back so it'll look good on the wall. Um, the elephant is still giving me problems trying to work out what I really want to do with it or where that's going. Um, the automata, 
the little bird one is coming on. I have the bird more or less and I've got his wings sorted out. Um, the mechanism has been a real pain. Um, this will go inside and this is a piston that's going to go up and down like that, hopefully. Um, and inside the mechanism is just a simple cam that you turn. All right, I've managed to get that working now. Um, soldered the bottom back onto the tin and it's got some little feet so when you turn it it'll be nice and stable. Um, I've made a couple of babies I think that the bird's going to have. We should be able to put them in there and the bird and then when you wind the handle hopefully the bird will go up and down and it'll move the babies as well. Um, so